Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating my entry table for Christmas. So if you want to see all things entry table and a little bit more, make sure to subscribe and keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here, you've seen two Christmas trees already decorated. Now the next area of our home that is probably my favorite I just have so much fun decorating this area is our entry table. I love a good entry table <laughs> um, display. I love decorating it for any season. So today we're gonna decorate it for Christmas. I'm so excited to show you. Um, if you haven't watched the other videos in my Christmas series, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and then go check out those other videos in the series. We've done two Christmas trees. We're about to do a tiered tray after this one and some outdoor decor, maybe some recipes. So if you wanna see how I decorate my entry table in our home, then keep watching. So first thing was first, we had to put our letterboard that we had on the Halloween entry table away. We had the spooky little saying on there. So it was time to put those pieces away and prep for a new one. So you can see there, we had a little witch hat on there. I think it was something like witching you a happy Halloween. So it was time to put that away and get ready for Christmas. And of course I had a base in there to make sure that I didn't mess up, that I knew where all the letters went. <laughs> I love that he just follows me everywhere we go. So if you've been watching this Christmas series, you know he always makes a guest appearance. So comment below, give Basin a hello down below in this video. So we actually started this process the night before. So don't mind us in our PJs and our comfies and all that. But we started the process the night before I got everything out of the basement so we could kind of lay it out and know what we had for the entry table. And of course, my little one wanted to help. She is a decor enthusiast in the making <laughs> and mama loves every little bit of it. So if you saw my last Christmas video, then you saw the four piece set from King of Christmas where I had a really beautiful flocked wreath and some trees in there. So this is the flocked garland that's part of that set. And I never really used the set together. I actually use them separately. So the garland will always go on my entry table. It lights up, it gives this really beautiful, warm, like white glow to it. It truly is a really beautiful four piece set. And this is the only flocked actual Christmas set that I have just because it leaves a little bit of a mess, but really it's just simply gorgeous to have on this um, entry table. So no regrets there. I'll make sure to link the other videos in our Christmas series down below in case you haven't watched them. Hey guys, so good morning because last night we started this video with putting up this flocked garland that's part of a four piece set. Um, you saw in the previous video that I put together um, one of the wreaths it comes with. I put it near like our entry. So this is the garland that it comes with. Um, so we started with this garland here. It's flocked, it's very pretty, it lights up, it has beautiful white lights. So while um, the kids went to bed, I actually put this extra um, this other little garland. I actually made this a few years ago. It was super easy. I had extra bow. Then I used this like twine, this rope that I had left over from a different project. So I intertwined it here um, with the garland. It turned out really, really cute. I'm happy with it. I've used it in different areas, but this time I wanted to use with this garland. I also added this snowflake and layered it with the hot cocoa bar sign. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I actually saw it um, a couple days ago. So they still have this hot cocoa sign. Um, and then this is from Crumpets Home Decor. It's this really pretty just snowflake cutout. It's made out of wood. So now I'm gonna just start layering, layering some additional decor tabletop pieces to make a little like, a little fun, but busy Christmas scene here. This frosty sign is one of my favorite signs. It's made out of metal. I got it at Rodworks a few years ago. It's come in handy and it's always, it was started off as a, like an extra piece on our Christmas tree. Now it's like a tabletop um, sign. And it's just super pretty. It just, it's made of metal. I just love it. 
super, super cute. And then I also found, these are from Home, um, Crumpets Home Decor. I found them at Broadworks and they're these little elves. And my kids like to think it's them, which they, they did inspire the purchase. <laughs> so you have the little boy elf and then the little girl elf and they're reversible. So no matter where you put them, it's, it's like a pretty side on each side. So um, you know how sometimes some decor has like the yucky like backside. Um, so you can put these, so I'll put these right here. You guys, this is part of that two-piece set. So if you watched my um, undecorating Halloween video, I use these the other can, tin can in my coffee bar setup. So this is the second one it came with. I got this at the like bullseye dollar spot area at Target. It came in a set of two for like five bucks. So I'm gonna put the other one up here. And I also added this little wood sand to give it some height. So that way you can see it a little bit more back here behind the garland, the garlands. Mm -hmm. So it'll sit right there and just kind of give that layering effect. So what I've learned over the years of decorating is you want to give texture and layers and height. So texture, layer, heights, and if possible, like decorate in a form of a V, um, like a V or like a triangle. So that way you're connecting, you're connecting the dots and pieces make sense together. So I'll kind of show you how I'm doing that throughout um, my house. So you get the feel of why I put things in certain places. Look at this cutie. So I found him and his brother, which I'll show you right now, at Home Goods. I found them a couple days ago. They were $3. Like seriously, look at them. They were $3. I thought that was a steal. I thought I was wrong. Like when I showed up to the register, I thought it was gonna ring up and be like, oh no, actually they're like eight, 10 bucks. So I, I think they're so cute. Super, super cute. So I'm gonna put him on the corner so his little legs can dangle right there. I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I've been into these gnomes lately. They're just cute. Like I like them as extra little like pieces to fill in spaces. He is adorable. And here is his brother. <laughs> they're twins, if you haven't noticed. So they're not anything different. They're exactly the same, but I think they're, they're just darling. And the girl at the register actually made a really good point. If it weren't for this sign right here, they could be like Valentine's Day gnomes too. So I'm actually going to, now that I'm looking at it, I'm gonna change my little elves. I'm gonna put Mr. Gnome Guy here. So we'll have his feet dangle here. And then I'll put my other twins. <laughs> Look at that. I'm in love with these gnomes. They're three bucks. Like seriously, seriously. If they would have had more, I would have bought more. Because you can't have enough Christmas countdowns. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Gosh, this is probably like one of my first um, like Christmas purchases when I came to Utah. They're just cute. I, I love little red trucks. So we're gonna put that there. Here is another fun little. So I like picks. So first off, let me rewind here. Let me show you guys these. I've really been into picks um, and how they add just like that extra, again, layering and height to any like setting piece. So I got this one, these little candy cane theme ones. I got them at Rodworks. I have two of them. So I'm gonna put one on this side, one on that side, and then I'm obsessed with this. Okay, so obsessed with this. I want more. Check out these elf feet. Look at them, Colin. Put, put them in the light. Look how cute they are. They're little bells. So they're picks. I'm gonna put, I got two of them for each side. So I'm just gonna like chaotically stick them in there, make it look real busy, give it some height, give it some texture. I love it. So oh, I love it. Okay, so next to the entry table, I have this blanket ladder, which I've never used for a blanket. <laughs> But I love a good blanket ladder. This one's like extra wide. I got it years ago at Kirkland's. They closed in Utah, so I haven't gone to Kirkland's in, it's sad, in too many years. Um, I shop online, but have not gone in person, so I really miss that. But I got this one in person like a month before they closed and vacated Utah, but I love it. It's extra wide. It's gorgeous. I love the tone of the wood. And I have this banner that you've been hearing in the background. I'm gonna hang it up so it's just, it sits hanging right there. It sits perfectly, you guys. 
It seriously sits so perfect. It was made for that blanket ladder. Okay, so let's take a closer look. I have a little pillow that's sitting in the basket there and I actually have extra candles that I have there. But let's start off. Here is, here's the, let's, let's take a grand look at it, okay? <laughs> you guys, it's morning, so light is not the best here. But look at that. It's busy. I like it. I'm not your, I'm, typically I like cleaner um, like decor, just like straight lines to the point, but I am loving this busyness here. I, it's like, it's a beautiful mess. It's a beautiful mess, you guys. We layered, we have texture, it's gorgeous. So let's start with this side. We have Cutie Pie over here, holding his banner. It says Mary. It's cute. I want more. And then I think I'm gonna add another extra touch just so this sits up a little higher. Um, so I have to find something there later, but we have that. We added our picks right here. I'm obsessed with those elf. I need to get more. Like if I can find like bigger ones in different colors, I want to put them in our other tree. And then we have our little elves right here. We layered with the snowflake cut out, the cocoa barn and the frosty. So pretty, guys. I am super happy with how it turned out. And there's that your little guy. So earlier when I was talking about how you want to add layers and dimension to your decor and add that texture and just, this is a really good example of that. We added layers, which gives it dimension. You don't want just flat lines. And then we added texture with the garland. We added more texture even with this one, this homemade garland that I made. The elf gives a texture. And I think a lot of people might not think this metal is texture. They might think of more like earthy tones and earthy materials like jute for texture. I think metal gives texture. So especially when you blend it with all this, it's perfect. It's so good. Look at that. And here is earlier too, I mentioned how you kind of want to piece things together in a triangle or a V shape. So I have a snowflake there. I have another snowflake there. I'm missing a snowflake, but if you, this gives you guys a really good example of how you complement items with each other. Um, so ideally I would have had a different snowflake like sitting right here on the corner, just so they bounce off of each other. But I think this entire setup works really well. I'm going to show it to you guys at night so you get a better feel of how it looks, the ambiance. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I can't wait to show you my next video. Next time we meet, we're gonna do a tiered Christmas tree, <laughs> which I absolutely love. So I can't wait to take you along. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. It's free and give this video a thumbs up. I can't wait to see you guys next time.